<laughs> John Jones. John Bones <laughs> Jones. Oh, I'm about to go hard. <laughs> Sean O'Connell and Chael Sonnen, uh, former uh, opponents inside the cage. Not long. Uh, I fought him, but I didn't fight him for long. No, John, no. John, you look good. Thank you. I feel good. I'm glad to be here. Salam alaikum, everyone. The Saudi crowd happy to see John Jones, as are we. PFL versus Bellator. Now look, cross promotion, co-promotion, the joining of two great MMA powerhouses is something that fans have asked for for a very long time in this sport. PFL acquires Bellator, puts a card like this together. Just as a fight fan, because I know you are a fight fan. I am. Is that something you wanted to see? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. It's just great to see uh, MMA get diversified. It's great to see it on other sides of the world. It's great to see um, the power divvied up a bit. Um, it's just great. It's a beautiful thing. It's huge for all of MMA, and I'm just grateful to be here on such a historic night. Now, there's been a lot of talk over the years about who the best heavyweight mixed martial artist on the planet is. Obviously, you've made the transition to the heavyweight division. Francis Ngannou exited his contract with the UFC as the heavyweight king. He's over here with the PFL now. He's transitioned into boxing. Anthony Joshua fight coming up next month, by the way. Uh, but the claim is out there, the baddest man on the planet. Who is it, John Jones? What do you guys think out there? You know, I, I don't feel like I'm at a place in my life where I need to toot my own horn. I think my body of work speaks for itself. Absolutely, it does. I, I think my reception from the MMA enthusiasts speak for itself. And uh, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. I've, I've never lost a fight. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. John, you're, you're being polite. Let me ask you a question I think you'd be more comfortable to answer. Francis Ngannou versus Joshua, boxing match. What do you think? Oh, uh, you know, I'm rooting for Francis to win only because he, his story, how far he's come in life, him being a fellow martial artist, mixed martial artist. Um, yeah, I mean, how could you not root for Francis? Francis is a wonderful stand-up person. Um, so I'm rooting for Francis. But Anthony Joshua, he's been doing this since he was a young boy. And uh, I'm the type of guy who just gives respect where it's due. So if I personally had to put my money on it, not that I gamble, uh, I would put it on Anthony Joshua. But I am rooting for Francis. That's a fair answer. I appreciate that. Before we let you get out Sorry, of here. Buddy. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Francis. <laughs> Before we let you just enjoy your evening watching these fights, John, it is a new era in mixed martial arts in a lot of different ways. You mentioned the global expansion. Uh, this card tonight and the way that the PFL acquired Bellator and brought these things together. Fighters have more control over their careers now than they ever did. Not total control. I'm not trying to suggest that. But a man of your credentials has a certain amount of influence when it comes to making matches for himself, when it comes to plotting out the last few fights of his career. Mm -hmm. Is the Francis Ngannou fight something that you would be interested in pursuing, even if it meant that it would have to be unprecedented, it would have to be a crossover that we've never seen before? You know, I, I feel like um, there's a lot of fights that the world wants right now. Um, you know, the, the Tom Aspinall fight still, that's really massive. Uh, Francis Ngannou and I would be really massive. Uh, and Stipe, to the hardcore fans, it's still a, a, a you know, respectable opponent. I don't know how the cards are going to fall. My prediction is that I will beat uh, Stipe Miocic. Uh, my prediction is that I will beat Tom Aspinall and Francis Nagano. So the way that it unfolds is really not my business. My job is just to do what I've always done since day one. Well, it's great to see you here. We appreciate you giving us some time. Thank you. John Jones. And look, Francis is in the building. Maybe we'll hear from Francis here in a few minutes. Chair I was impressed with John. I thought John answered our questions honestly. A lot of guys beat around the bush. I appreciate that answer. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. I do want to see that fight. I know that there's a lot of things standing in the way of making it happen, but I do want to make the point that the Professional Fighters League is not what's in the way of that fight happening. MMA fans can get what they want. John Jones said he'd be interested in it. Francis has expressed his interest in it. If only we knew the one thing standing in the way. Thank you, John Jones. We've got more fights to get to here on the biggest card in PFL history, the biggest card in Bellator history. And I'm not going to shy away from this. No, jail. no, you're causing a real problem. You really put John on the spot with that, by the way. My intent is not to put John on the spot. My intent is to pay respect to what the fight fans in the world want, which I consider myself a huge fight fan as a former Andrew fighter did. myself. Andrew did. 
I want to see Francis Ngannou and John Jones decide who the baddest man on the planet is. I want to see it, and I want to see it soon. I'd watch them arm wrestle right now. I mean, just a, a contest between those two. I like what you did there, by the way. You're a hell of a promoter.